Hello, my friend. Uh, welcome back to the tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to add a screenshot when the test script failure because uh, sometimes uh, you got a failure and you want to see which screen that get a failure and then you can have a clues uh, easier for you to debug your test script. So if you go to WebDriver.io uh, homepage and you go to the documentation, try to find out the test runner configuration and you will see a hook from WebDriver.io that's it after test. That means after your test script, um, your test case. Okay, so let's go back to our test script here. So after test, that means a hook that will be executed after a test is done. So as you already knew, describe that means you have a test script, right? So it here we have a test case. So after test will be executed at the last step in your test case. That means if you execute successfully to the line number 10 here, the after test hook will be executed after that. But somehow your test got failure on the line number 9 here, your after test hook from WebDriver IO will execute it. So that's the the purpose of uh, after test hook. So from the after after test hook, actually it's uh, it is a, a function, and we will have some parameter from WebDriver IO uh, runner, and we can assess them from the parameter here. But in this tutorial, we just want to assess one one of them. That's the the error. That means if we have the error we will take a screenshot and then we will attach to our test report. By the way, so, sorry for the background, background noise around. Okay, just go back to your test source code and then you open the main configuration here. After that, you just simple copy the after text hook from WebFiber.io and then you just paste after the on complete hook that we already have here. So we have after tag here, and it's a, it is a function. So what we are going to do that if we have some error, okay? Then we will execute a method that you already knew that's browser dot test screenshot. And that will help us to expect to our test report from our automatic calling. Okay. So let's try to make something better here. Uh, so we have logged in successfully. So we have logged in with credential and verify login unsuccessfully. Uh, let's try to change something from the login screen from the page object here, account, uh, login. And this is invalid email test and invalid patchwork test. What I'm gonna do that I will try to make the selector invalid, something like, for example, instead of seeing the plea enter a valid email address, I expect to see something uh, dot, 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 at the end, and that will trigger a failure for us, right? So you don't need to change anything else. Just try to stop the FPM server and then trigger the test by using the command npm test and the test configuration file uh, location. Enter. So we expect to see a failure because we change our selector value to a wrong selector value. That means we will see a failure. And after that, we want to see our load rebox attached our screenshot to the test report.
Now it's trying to to find out the element text here, but because it is invalid, so we will get an error. Okay, so we got one failure from the source. And if we go back to the Alua report folder here and we open the index.html, we will see we have a two test case and we will have a one bat and one tail. So if you open the the bus test case here, nothing nothing so here under the execution. But if you click to open this one, you will see the error message here and the the bug trace for you for the bug right and you can see we have a screenshot here so that means you can see oh this one is p enter a valid email address and what we are expecting that is p enter a valid email address with three dots at the end and then based on the screenshot and the error will help you debug your failure easier. So you can try to press it in the same way I have just showed you and see you in the next tutorial.